Hola, welcome to Viva Tutor. Today we're going to learn imperfect subjunctive. Now I filmed a video about present subjunctive and I will link that below in the description box. And I will film a video in the next few days about the differences between the present and imperfect subjunctive, when to use which. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Um, so, imperfect subjunctive is not very hard. Um, it's about things that are not happening. They're not real, not happening in the moment. So let's see some cases. One structure, very typical structure for imperfect subjunctive is if something happened, if this was this way. Is, um, si is if in Spanish. So an example of this could be Si fuera rico, viajaría más. If I were rich, I would travel more. Another very typical structure for this tense is ojalá, I wish. Ojalá hiciera sol. I wished it was sunny. And then we have other cases, which, is, which are uh, the cases for present subjunctive. So when I need to use present subjunctive, but the sentence is in past tense, the main verb is in past tense, I would use imperfect subjunctive. It makes sense. I go for imperfect, the past tense, instead of present tense. I'm showing a part of a cheat sheet now for present subjunctive that contains all the cases where you would use present subjunctive. Now, I went more in detail with these ones one by one, example by example, in the present subjunctive video, but I'm using it now, I'm showing it now, so that I can explain this last case and you know exactly what I mean. Uh, one would be, if I think about this case, I recommend you to do something. That would be a case for present subjunctive. But instead of saying I recommend, I'm going to say I recommend it in past tense. And I will use imperfect subjunctive for the second part of the sentence. Te recomendé, I recommend it to you. Que vieras esa película. I recommend it to you that you watched that movie. Another case will be I hope that. That's a case for present subjunctive. But instead of I hope, I'm going to say um, I hoped. Esperaba, I hoped, que pudiera ir. I hoped I could go. And the last example I'm going to use is the I don't think that. I don't believe that. I doubt that. That's again, again, a case for present subjunctive, but I'm going to use it in past tense. No pensaba que, I didn't think that, fuera a aprobar. I were going to pass the exam. So instead of saying, I didn't think I'm going to pass the exam, I'm saying, I didn't think I were going to pass the exam. So those are the cases or uses for imperfect subjunctive. Let's see how we create it now. Now, to create it, we need the preterite. We need they did form. Hicieron, they did or they made. Leyeron, they read. Fueron, they went. Then I'm going to take that ron out, that ending. And then I'm going to add the ending for imperfect subjunctive. Now, we have two options here. One will be this, uh, but the other option I'm showing it now on the screen. You don't need to use both or to really know all of the forms for both. Uh, just be aware of it because you might hear it in, in Spain. Some, sometimes people use it in Spain. We use both of them. <laughs> sometimes one, sometimes another one. Um, so, and as long as you're aware of it and you know that it means exactly the same thing, that's totally fine. So we have all the personal pronouns, I, you, he, you, she, we, you guys, or they, and we're going to choose the ending depending on who does the action, as always. So we have ra, ras, ra, ramos, rais, ran. It's a soft R. So for example, with the they did, to do, hacer, hiciera, I did or I made, leyera, I read, fuera, I went. Si hiciera, if I did, si leyera, if I read, si fuera, if I went. Ojalá hiciera, I wish I did, ojalá leyera, I wish I read, ojalá fuera, I wish 
I went. Okay, so that's everything for imperfect subjunctive. So use it with if, I wish, or a case for present subjunctive when the main verb is in past tense. We take the they did form in preterite, we take out the wrong at the end, and then we add these endings, or the ones that I showed on the screen. But I will go with these ones because they're more common and they work for both Spain and Latin America. So I thought subjunctive deserved more than one task. So I'm showing now some sentences in English and I just want you to tell me if you would use imperfect subjunctive to translate them to Spanish or not and why. And now I'm also showing some translations. So um, sentences to, to translate from Spanish to English and vice versa. So you have a little bit of, you know, both practice. So if you do that, please leave the answer below so I can correct it. Any question is welcome, I'm happy to answer. And I'll be here every week with another grammar point. So please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And I'll see you soon. Hasta pronto. Ciao.